Yeah. Well, we've talked to Henry Wynn, who's been high school national champion. He's been college national champion, and now you're a world record holder. So, what is the difference? <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy, it's not really sunk in, but you know, in high school the top goal is winning nationals, college to win nationals, and now as a pro world records are you know, the, end, the end game, and so having this is amazing, you know, obviously the solo world records are the tip of the top of the iceberg, what you can get, but the team one is amazing, it's a great feeling, and uh, uh, it hasn't really sunk in, but I'm really happy to be here with my team and just have accomplished a goal we've had for a long time. So what are you going to tell a kid, say, a high school kid from Connecticut who says, you know, if Henry can do it, maybe I can do it, but how did he do it? So, you know, it's been 10 years since I started track, so it's one of these things I think about it sometimes. It's like, if I thought that 10 years ago this is where I'd be, it'd be a very long road to think, all right, I'd have to work for 10 years, I'd have to go to practice every day. But in reality, it's just enjoying yourself, enjoying the sport. Uh, I like going to practice every day, I love my teammates, so it's really not that hard. It's about putting in consistent work, listening to your coaches, staying healthy, and just keeping the broad, big goals in mind. You know, I've wanted to do this kind of thing. I wanted to be an Olympian since I was in high school, so I'm just still on that path. So when you look back now at what you did for your training in high school and college, is there much of a difference other than going faster? It's generally the same. There's a lot of the same workout structures, but yeah, it's much faster. Uh, you add a lot of smaller things. You know, we're in the weight room a lot more. We have a physical or athletic trainer who uh, travels with us. I'm seeing her almost every day just to stay on top of the little things. It's just you get become hyper focused. In high school, you can kind of mess around or have a little bit more fun. And not that I'm not having fun now. It's more that you have to focus on all the details if you want to get to the next level. Do they have you on a special eating regimen that you have to do too. Just trying to eat healthy, make sure you get the right proteins, the right fats, so you can build muscle and stay healthy. That's actually a big part of it. We just signed Dr. Kyle Fafenbach. Shout out to him because he just signed with our team to help us out. He's a huge support for us, like telling us what to eat, telling us how to stay healthy, and that's how we can make it through the entire season feeling good. I think if kids in high school actually did that too, they might even improve their times. Yeah, I think they would uh, improve a lot, but you know, I'm not. I'm not necessarily saying you have to do that because I definitely didn't do it in high school. Um, right. You don't want to become too anal about the little things in high school and college, even because you, know, you have a long time. If you want to become a professional, it's a lot of years, and you don't want to be too hyper focused for the entire journey. And at what point in your journey did you decide, you know, I think I might want to be a professional runner and I actually can be a professional runner? That was probably junior year of college. Um, I went to college not really knowing what I could do. Obviously, I came off a good high school career. I loved running. Um, you know, I did have the best freshman year, started doing better sophomore year, and junior year I really kicked it off and I was like, all right, I think I'd want to do this for the long run and see what I can make of this. Here I am. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Yes.